There are four drivers of AWS Lambda cost that support using the Rust runtime. Obviously, the less you use it, the less you'll be able to be charged, like invocation count. Also, execution time. Here's where Rust computational performance is amazing because you're going to benefit from that 10 to 1,000 times performance benefit. And then the memory allocation, right? Because Lambda charges you by memory, because Rust can use up to 70 times less memory on an average scenario, you could have a lower uh, runtime and save money that way. Also concurrency, because you can use safe true threads. But even beyond that, also ARM-based instances are cheaper by 34% on average. And this could be significant cost savings for compute intensive applications. Also, in terms of energy efficiency, if your organization has goals around energy efficiency, these types of processors consume less power than x86. And so this can translate into meeting those green goals. And then in terms of optimized performance, Rust has low level control and efficient memory management, and you can leverage this to specifically build something for the ARM architecture to create a highly optimized and performant application. And this could lead you to have even further reduced execution time because the cost of Lambda already is you know, very inexpensive, but you're being charged by execution time. And now in terms of scalability, when you combine all this together, this could be especially beneficial for variable workloads because of that significant value that you're getting. And finally, the support for ARM64 architectures. AWS does offer specific instances that are optimized like the Graviton2 processor. And by targeting this in Rust, a developer could take full advantage of the hardware capabilities even further improving the cost efficiency. So there are many drivers that are just you know, inherent to the Rust language that make it the ideal language for serverless. But then if you go into the ARM scenario here, really it's a very tough situation to argue against Rust being the default choice for serverless. Again, if there's other things you're solving, like for example, data visualization or looking at an API, et cetera, there's advantages to, to using scripting languages. But for serverless, this is really the sweet spot for a language like Rust.